Police in Uganda and elsewhere in the world use tear gas as a non-combative method of dispersing crowds or riots. The gas is a combination of chemicals that cause irritation to the body. It is usually deployed in form of canisters, grenades or pressurized sprays. But once it is inhaled, it causes an irritation. Dr. Ivan Chimuli, an internal medicine physician at Mulago Hospital, explains what comprises of the gas. It's a chemical compound that has particles within there that have the properties of irritating either the skin or the mucous membranes. Children and people with respiratory complications may be at a heightened risk of developing complications when exposed to tear gas. Dr. Chimuli says the effects of the gas are dependent on the kind of exposure one has been subjected to. Most people recover from tear gas exposure without any significant symptoms. However, some studies that have been conducted in countries like United States of America show that some people have developed adverse effects from tear gas. The eyes could actually scar uh, the coverings of the eye, but you could also have permanent damage to the mucosal membrane that is lining the airwaves. There is no known antidote to the effects of tear gas. However, some measures have been found to be helpful in calming down the irritation. First of all, evacuating yourself out of the area that has been exposed. Take off your clothes because these clothes have actually been exposed to the uh, riot control agent. And then wash yourself. Wash your body with clean water and soap. And this, go, of course, goes for the eyes also. According to the Police Act, any police officer or any other person acting in aid of the police officer may do all things necessary for dispersing persons continuing to gather illegally. And if there is resistance, the police may use all such force as is reasonably necessary for overcoming that resistance. However, the police spokesperson, Fred Enanga, says sometimes their officers use excessive force. But of course it's an institution which doesn't condone acts of, uh, of torture. Help us capture these on videos. And we've not disappointed you. Wherever you've captured these videos, we've come out and uh, taken sanctions disciplinarily or in the criminal courts of law against these officers. Tear gas was used as a chemical weapon in World War I. However, it is currently illegal for wartime use. In 1993, many of the world's countries signed an international treaty in Geneva to prevent chemical warfare. Article 2, Part 7 of the 1993 Chemical Weapons Convention defines riot control agent as any chemical not listed in a schedule which can produce rapidly in humans sensory irritation or disabling physical effects which disappear within a short time following termination of exposure. Walter MCJ, NTV. Give them, give them. Give them.